the Rabban writes in uh, Shah Gmul something very interesting. He says that what is the meaning of the verse in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 14 that says God has made this corresponding to this. The Ramban writes it means that he created the righteous and he created the wicked. He created Gan Eden and he created Genom. Each person has two portions, one in Gan Eden and one in Genom. If the righteous man is meritorious, he takes his own portion of reward, meaning he goes to his Olam Abba and the portion of his friend to Gan Eden. The wicked man, on the other hand, who is guilty, however, takes his portion of punishment, all the punishment for what he did, and the portion of his friend to gain him. So Chazal says, well, what does it mean? Why, why, why is he, if he's righteous, why does he get two Ganedans? And if he's wicked, he gets two Ganobs. He gets punished for himself and for his friend. How come? Says, if he's righteous, he did Shuva, he stopped sinning. What did he also do? He did Kiruv. He helped somebody else do Shuva. What if that guy didn't want to do it? He told his friend, listen, I heard Rabbi Uven says, no Shabbat, no Allah Abba. His friend says, how about this? You and this rabbi, you guys go fly kite. I'm going to go back and do whatever I want. I'll do whatever I want. No Shabbat for me. Ramban says, no problem. You did Kiruv. You tried telling him. He didn't want to listen. Guess what? His Allah Abba goes to you. Because you're righteous, you did Shuva, his Olama goes to you. And the Genom you were supposed to get goes to him. Another reason why it's worth to do Kiru. Why you win either way? You win either way. If he does Shuva, you get 310 more worlds. But if he doesn't, you still get his. Why? Because now you, even though it says, Kol Yisrael Chedek all of Israel have a share of the world to come, meaning they all have a place in Olama uh, designated for them. But if they do not fulfill the rules, they don't follow the rules, they don't keep Shabbat, they don't keep Tarat Mishpacha, they don't keep all of the major laws, they keep making sins of Karet, and don't do Tshuva, what happens to this Olam Abba? They can't go to them. The ticket won't work. So where does it go? It goes to any person that helped them, at least tried to help them do Tshuva. It goes to their friend. That's who's your friend. Someone that rebukes you.